Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the high school math, chemistry, and physics contest from Waterloo University. This is a question from the Kaylee contest, which is the grade 10 math contest. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. So in this question, we have a multiple choice test with 10 questions on it. Now, if you get any question correct, you get five points. If you get any question wrong, you get zero points. But if you choose not to answer, you will still get one point. And the question says, how many of the integers between 30 and 50 are not possible scores? All right, well, let's assume we start with, say, a perfect score. So we get 10 correct. If we get 10 correct, they're each worth 5 points. So that's a total score of 50. Now, if we get only get 9 correct, we have two options. First option is you get 9 correct, which would be 45. Plus, if the other one is incorrect, that would be 0 points. And that's 45. Or you could leave the other one unanswered and get one point, which would be 46. And those are the only two options there. But notice right here, we're missing the possible point scores of 47, 48, and 49. All right, now let's say you get eight right. If you get eight right and all of the other ones incorrect, that's a total score of 40. But you could also get one of them as unanswered, which would give you 41, or another one unanswered, which would give you 42. And right here, notice that we are missing the scores 43 and 44. All right, well, what if we get 7 correct? Well, that's a total score of 35. But the other three questions, you can either get them all uncorrect and get 35, or you can leave one unanswered and get 36, two unanswered and get 37, or all three unanswered and get 38. And in here, we are missing the score of 39. Now, if we were to keep going and you say you get six correct, well, six times five is 30. But in this case, you still have four other uh, questions. You can get them all wrong and end up with 30. You can leave one unanswered and get 31, two unanswered and get 32, three unanswered and get 33, and four unanswered and get 34. So we're not missing anything between these two scores. And anything lower than that would give you a score less than 30, which is not what we're looking for in this question. So it looks like we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 scores which are not possible. So our answer is D.